and I will get to Tom Kane. But in regards to Sue Altman, there, are, from my sources, Democrats are very concerned in the fact that they weren't really sure going into this thing whether this is winnable at all. And that that was largely a part of the reason why Tom Malinowski, who was the congressman in this district, who got beat last time around, didn't come back into play. Because as you recall, by the numbers, Tom Malinowski in the old district would have won re-election in 2022, despite there being the quote-unquote Red Whipple, sure. which the Red Whipple that never, it was the wave that never came. So, you know, Tom Kane is walking on that eggshell, but still the Democrats, it's almost like they see it essentially the throwaway race, but they're going to try anyways, because again, the other side with Tom Kane, he's received criticism as well. Some people say he's not quote-unquote MAGA enough. He's not with the former president enough on the issues with the Republican Party. He's got more of this moderate streak. Also, it's the relatability thing. 